What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Shuba Marina and I'm out here with Bobby from Burgess Fire and Protection out of Lenore, North Carolina and this happens to be where we bring all our cylinders to get them hydrostatically tested every five years. And Bobby's been very gracious here and owner here, Mike, to actually walk us through the uh, procedure or the process of how we actually get these tanks hydro. So Bobby, I appreciate you having us out today. No problem, my pleasure. Uh, got you two aluminum cylinders here. If you don't mind, right. kind of show our viewers exactly how y'all do the hydro process. All right. What I've already done is I emptied up the tanks. Okay. A lot of times I'll come in and I'll be full. We have to empty them out, we'll take the heads off, and then we'll do a visual inspection. Alright. So this is pretty much the same visual inspection that we do at the shop when the yearly visual inspection. Uh, right. Check the threads. You, yeah. We check the threads, we look for any type of corrosion inside the cylinder, anything like that. Of course, check for stress load cracking. Um, hold on yards, check the valves, make sure they're good to go. Yeah. Uh, well, I leave the valves to you off. Okay. <laughs> uh, unless you've got like a, uh, one of these you take it apart. Right. Have like a new burst disc or something like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Here. All right. What we do is I take our mirror. There's no stress cracking or anything like that. I have to look out of the corner mm -hmm. because the lights are bright. The other side of blinded. Oh yeah, we've got a light stick that does pretty much the same thing. Everything looks good on that one. If you can, kind of explain to our viewers exactly what a hydro test does. What are we testing for? Uh, structural integrity and uh, just to make sure that whenever you're scuba diving, the tank's not going to blow up on your back. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. We'll go ahead and visually inspect this one. Basically, serial number, size of cylinder, yeah. owner of the cylinder, stuff like that. Yeah, we do the same thing for our, our business. Okay, you got to make sure you get the right fit. Yeah. spots or uh, fraying or anything like that. That one's still looking good. 
have to get up and underneath it. Disconnects all that is. Makes things a whole lot quicker. Now I'll take this O-ring right here and take it out. Wipe it down. Make sure there's no film or anything on it, or any like uh, dirt and rust and stuff like that on it. Now I'll go over here and clean out my channel. Spots are fraying. We get asked a lot that you know people who's got their own compressors, they fill their own tanks. Why? Why do they still need to viz and hydro their tanks? And I don't think people realize a lot of times when you're dealing with these high pressures, these O-rings can wear out pretty quickly. Yeah. So. Those clamps, I guess, are just hydraulic clamps. I'm 
open up this valve over here so it'll get water coming out of it and then it can build up pressure. like we got it good deal and so what you was looking at earlier this 1.8 if that would have went down in the negative that would have meant that it's beyond that 10 percent yes. is that correct okay. well the percentage is right here gotcha and that Anything has thing in negative is bad okay <laughs> and we passed cool deal it's awesome so what i'll do is i'll go down here and i'll click save different for a steel cylinder versus aluminum or a same same procedure yeah, it's the same procedure. people ask us a lot and there's a forum site that we're on called scubaboard.com and they ask us all the time why the dive shops visiting after the hydro or does the same bid and we try to explain to people it's the hydro company's license just like we're licensed or certified to do certain things but once it comes back from y'all for us to put our stamp on it, our sticker that says it's bid, we have to make that same visual inspection. So we do basically do the same thing that you guys do. Um, it's just so that when we give it back to the customer, we're certified or saying this tank is good to use. Internal part of it dried out. And you're going to kind of wipe it down, make sure everything's good with the external, yeah. and then, then what's our next step after this? Uh, then we're going to come over here and stamp it with our code. Okay. And I guess each hydro has their own their own stamp, correct? Yes. Because I know in the past we found some that were pretty questionable and had to call you guys up and say, "Hey, can you tell if this is a legit hydro?" We actually had one very recently. It was like that. They were not. <laughs> They look like they were uh, stamped at home. Oh, yeah. Now, is there any type of process that, uh, say, a diver could actually go through to, to see if the hydro was correct? Is there a company they could call, um, maybe check with DOT or anything like that? They could get with y'all. 
Okay. If they, if they brought your tanks to them or to y'all. And then we could contact the right place. You can right contact place. us and we can give you copies of our reports. We keep all our reports. Okay. Uh, let's go back to March. Did y'all send it in March? I think we did. Okay, we keep our records. Yeah, yep, there right we go. Here. So we sent one. We've two, got three. all of y'all's records right here. So we sent eight eight of them to you here <laughs> in March. Yes. Okay. If you need copies, just let us know. Gotcha. We'll get you a copy. Oh, just let us know what when you sent them in, and we'll just go back and look and and deal. get you copies. We have to keep all sorts of records. Oh, we're the same way. We, we've got to go through uh, local, state, and federal agencies. Make sure that we're doing everything that they say we got to do. OSHA. Oh, yeah. MSAT. <laughs> we have to do, like, uh, for, like, the mining corporations and stuff like that. All their guidelines. Everything has gotten to where uh, they try to make it easy on you. Well, that's a good we use, a, we use an air gun, but we turn the pressure down so low on it mm -hmm. that it's a low impact. Okay. On an aluminum cylinder, you have to use a low impact. Steel cylinder is a little bit heavier. More denser material. go around up in here right below the crest of it yeah. yep. you can't stamp on the sides right you can only stamp around I guess they call it the crown yep or seven stamp we've got to stamp it with the, the month our code and then the year. Just a little bit. either a black magic marker or some uh, environmentally safe paint All right and go over the top of that to where you can actually see where we stamped it 
All right. And I'll take a little wire brush right here and I'll get all the excess off of it. And that makes it easier for us too when somebody brings their tank in to get it filled. It, it's quick recognition for us. We know exactly what to look for and it kind of stands out to us. Kind of works like primer. the head mm -hmm. or the valve head assembly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. I usually look at the O-rings mm -hmm. on most everyone else's, but since y'all do your yeah, we do it all. and stuff, I'll leave that on there. Unless I break it, yeah. then I'll replace it. We don't tighten the head up all the way, so y'all can just right. take your head take off, it and off do our bids, and we'll get the hydro test process. All right, man, that was definitely very informative. Uh, as most of you guys know, I've been doing this for a very long time, and this is probably one of the only things in the scuba industry I've never got to witness in person. And I just want to say thank you to Burgess Fire Protection for you know letting us come out, witness this. You. Um, you guys really help us out a lot with all our tanks that we send to you and look forward to working with you guys in the future as well but thanks again for having us out thank you and uh guys i really hope you like this video if you like the, this procedure or ever had questions on it um, or if you got a question now simply put it down in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can um, if you like this video hit the like button if you're new to our channel please hit that subscribe button for us uh, but as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.